Here we're going to look at the area of a triangle, which is similar to the area of a rectangle or a square, but it's one half times the base times the height. And our formula is shown here as one half bh, or if you imagine the little invisible time signs, one half times b times h. And it's very similar to the area of a rectangle formula, because if we take a rectangle and we break it in half along the diagonal, you end up with two triangles. So if this is the base of the rectangle and the height of the rectangle, its area would be base times height. But if you want the area of the triangle, in this case, that's only half the area of the rectangle. And that's where the one half comes from, because I take the whole area of the rectangle that triangle could make if I had two of them, and I only want half of it, so I divide by two. So in this example here, I notice that the triangle has a base of five, and a height of four. And I know that's the height because I see this little box in the corner, and that means that these are perpendicular. They're at a right angle to each other. That's coming directly to meet perpendicular at a right angle to the base. So here, my area is going to be equal to four times five. Writing out the formula, I guess. Should be one half times four times five. Four times five is twenty times a half, well half of twenty is ten, so my area here is ten centimeters squared. So again that's one half times the base and height. And you'll notice here I wrote them in a different order. I did the height and then the base. It absolutely doesn't matter. I could have written one half times five times four. You're still going to get ten centimeters squared. Now the next example here is a bit trickier. What I'm saying here is that the full base is 12 meters. But I've given you two other numbers here. One of the sides up there is labeled 8 meters, and it's equal to this side over here, which is 8 meters, from those hashes. And I'm giving you a 5 meters, and that's the distance along that dotted perpendicular line. Now, we know the base here is 12, obviously, but now we have to decide which of those two numbers is the height. And the height is always going to be the one that's perpendicular to the base. So in this case, we'll actually ignore the two eights, they're not important. Our area will be one-half times twelve, which is the base, times five, which is the height. Again, because that's perpendicular, it's at a right angle to the base. So, in this case, we're going to have twelve times five is sixty, times a half, well half of sixty is thirty meters squared for my area. And again, to remind you here, because we can, if I was to look at adding up all the sides, I'd get the perimeter, and in this case, my perimeter would be 12 plus 8 plus 8, 12 plus 8 plus 8. So 12 plus 8 is 20, plus 8 is 28, and that is just in meters, because it's a length, versus the area, which is in meters squared. So again, area of a triangle is just one-half times the base times the height, but you have to make sure that height is the perpendicular height to the base.